Vielen Dank, Frau Kollegin Vergia. Es folgt nun für eineinhalb Minuten Frau Kollegin Scharke. Thank you, President, Commissioner and colleagues. Several non-democratic measures have been taken by the Thai government and they've led to massive protests in a generally peaceful country. The government is putting aside its Senate as well as the Constitutional Court's rulings on the amnesty bill but also on the date of the elections. And on top of that, a non-elected people's representation has been proposed. And such actions led to outcry. Protests and responses have led to death and injury, and the Prime Minister has declared a state of emergency. And these very troubling steps have paralyzed the country and the elections, as voting did not happen in all areas of the country, and the law forbids the opening of the legislature when it is not filled for 95%. Without a parliament, no new government can be formed. And this deadlock must end by investigations into the violence and the prosecution of those responsible. All parties must show restraint, respect for the rule of law, and abide by democratic principles. This includes a government that ensures free assembly and free expression, and it should start by lifting emergency laws. We welcome the fact that the military has remained neutral, and we call on it to continue to do so. We also welcome initiatives of dialogue and reconciliation by all those who have contributed, and stand ready to play any role that may help to overcome the current difficulties and help Thailand on a democratic track. Thank you. Vielen Dank, Frau Kollegin Scharke. Es folgt für eineinhalb Minuten Herr Kollege Bittikofer. Danke, Herr Präsident. Liebe Kolleginnen und Kollegen, lieber Herr Kommissar, ich glaube, eine zentrale Botschaft sollten wir alle gemeinsam aussenden heute, nämlich den Appell.